Welcome, this Digital Dimensions video tech tip is the second installment of our 3D Via Composer mini-series. I'm Michael Nolte. Today we're going over translate, rotate, explode, and also move in a pivot. Uh, as we see here where we left off at, we have a silhouette view that we're wanting to, to move some parts. So we'll go and switch over to our transform tab. This is where we get our three different explode views. We've got a translate and also our rotate. Translates like our move. Our no transformation turns everything off. The restore to neutral position puts everything back to where it uh, began or where it started from and when it was originally open. So let's go and do a translate here to move one of the parts. Uh, it also shows up in the right click menu along with a few other items. So I'm just going to go and select one of my parts or one of my actors. You see the triad that shows up and I'll go and uh, position my arrow of my cursor over one of the arrowheads indicating the direction of, of pull. So I'll go and move my part out, out to wherever I want, grab another one, grab the arrowhead, and move it along the axis there. Uh, so let's go and rotate around here and let's go and do some rotations now. Uh, taking the snap ring, I'll go and switch over to rotate, and I'm going to rotate that. Uh, rotate actually gives you these three little half discs or quarter discs uh, to actually do the rotation on. You just click and drag on the disc itself and it will rotate the part around the, uh, the central axis there. Uh, I'm going to go and undo here just so that we can actually do a specific angle. So if you want to do a specific angle, all we need to do is do a single left click on the disc. Uh, let the part stick to your cursor there. Uh, then go and move over to the left into our properties and then go and type in your angle. I'm going to do 179 so I can actually control the direction. If you do 180, sometimes you can't control the direction especially if you're going to be using this for an animation later on. So now maybe you want to move some parts back to the original uh, position. I'll go and select the part and then we click on the restore to neutral position. This will actually move the part or the actor back to its original location. A uh, great way of getting it back into position. Alright, so I'm going to move this part out back one more time. One other useful button, if you want to move a part to match up with another part, what we can do is do the copy transformation. With this option turned on, first thing we'll do is go and pick the, uh, the ring here, and then we pick the second part, and it'll actually move that part uh, so it actually matches up with the other part there. So we can actually see that it is now uh, in place with the, the other part. Alright, so let's go and take a look at some of the explodes. So I'm going to switch back to my other view here, so the parts all move back into to place, and let's go and take a look at the explode. So I'm going to start out with a uh, linear explode. First I'll select everything uh, and I'll go and grab linear explode from again transform tab. Just like our translate we do have these arrows that we grab onto. And I'll go and grab the red arrow and I'll drag it one direction to move some of the parts one way, grab the arrow again and move the part the other direction. Alright so I'm going to select everything and do a restore to neutral position to put everything back and let's go and look at a spherical explode. So I'm going to grab the spherical explode, grab its arrowhead and then everything explodes from a central location. I'll do a quick undo and let's go and do a cylindrical explode and again these all depend on which arrowhead that you grab. Some might work better for others. You may want to do several different types where you do one explode with one type and then grab some other parts and do a different explode with the arrow. So I'm going to do the linear explode one more time here just to drag all my parts into, into position. Alright, so I'm going to store this as a new view and let's go and rename this as our explode view. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to leave you with today is sometimes you don't want to pivot or rotate things around the axis that it gives you, and maybe you want to move that. So I'm going to grab my rotate, see how the axis is right there at the middle. So what I'll do is I'll go and go up to my set pivot, uh, and then align along axis. And this allows me to pick a different edge to align that pivot to. So now when I go and grab one of the disks, it'll actually pivot or rotate around that particular axis. So I'll go and rotate this into the new position that I want it to be, and the last thing I'll do is go and do a copy transformation to get my ring uh, to match up with the other part there. Always create yourself a new view when you uh, want to store a state. I'm going to go and rename this to the rotate. Thank you for viewing this Digital Dimensions video tech tip. Please visit us at www.ddicad.com.